my name is Jade. Welcome to day 11 of this 30 day yoga journey to creating a healthy habit. You can start by taking a comfortable seat. Bring your palms to your chest and close your eyes. And take a deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale deeply. And exhale completely. One more inhale. And exhale. And you can open your eyes. I'll meet you in tabletop position. We're going to warm up our wrists. So we're going to start by peeling one palm up at a time, pressing our fingers down simultaneously. Give me a bit of independent movement here. And try and lift both palms up at the same time. It is a little bit more intense, definitely warms up your forearms. And turn your palms around so your fingers are facing away from each other and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to lift one palm up at a time. And again, you can try and lift both palms up at the same time, which is a little bit more intense. Then point your fingers towards your toes. You're welcome to stay here or you can start rounding from the upper back and gently bringing your hips closer towards your heels. You can let the heels of your palms lift up slightly to intensify the stretch. And release. We're going to turn our hands around so the tops of our hands are on the mat. You can make a fist with one hand at a time and then swap because this is quite a big stretch for the wrists. And then you can round from the upper back again, gently lean towards your heels. Can point your fingers towards each other and same thing you can make a fist with one hand at a time and then swap And point your fingers away from you. You can gently lean forward if you want a deeper stretch. And tuck your toes. You can sit on your heels or you can choose to sit between your heels. You can also grab a yoga block and sit on the block between your heels. You can interlace your fingers and start making circles with your wrists. And lift up, release your hands, re-interlace your fingers, sit back down and reverse the circle. And shake your hands, we'll step to the tops of our mats. We'll start with some sun salutations, inhale palms up, exhale folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step into plank. Knees can be up or down. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Bicycle your knees here. Relax your neck. Root through your palms. Lifting up from the sitting bones. And 
and look up, step forward, inhale halfway lift, exhale fold forward, inhale palms up, exhale palms to chest, we'll go again, inhale palms up, exhale folding forward, inhale halfway lift, exhale step into plank, lower down chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale down dog. You can still bicycle your knees here. Focus on your breath. Look up, step forward, inhale halfway lift, exhale fold forward, inhale palms up, exhale palms to chest, we'll do one more round, inhale palms up, exhale fold forward, inhale halfway lift, Exhale, step or float back into Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. So if you float back into Chaturanga, you want to make sure that you're jumping back with your arms bent. So you don't jump into plank. So you want your elbows to have a little bend. Just avoid any damage for your elbows. And you can bicycle your knees here if you like. And look up, step forward, inhale halfway lift, exhale folding forward, inhale palms up, and exhale palms to chest. Surya Namaskar B, meet me in chair pose, exhale folding forward, inhale halfway lift, exhale step or float back, lower down chaturanga, Inhale, up dog, exhaling, down dog. Bring your right leg forward, inhale, warrior one. And exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Step your left foot forward, inhale, warrior one. And exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Relax your neck, root through your palms. You can still bicycle your knees here. And focus on your breath. And look up. Step or float forward, inhale halfway lift, exhale folding forward, inhale chair, exhale palms to chest, we'll go again, inhale chair pose, exhale folding forward, inhale halfway lift, exhale step or float back, lower down chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale down dog. Bring your right leg forward, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your left foot forward, inhaling, warrior one. And exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. You're always welcome to skip the chaturanga if you like. You can just get into down dog. You can have your knees up or down. You're welcome to take a child's pose whenever you get tired, if you get tired. Or press the pause button and chill. And look up. Step or float forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding forward, inhaling chair, exhale, palms to chest. 
bring your palms to your hips, step or jump your feet hips width apart, inhale palms up and exhale folding forward. We're going to grab our toes here or you can grab your calves, your shins, drive down with your stomach towards your thighs rather than face towards your knees. You want to kind of pull your head down. You're also welcome to use your yoga blocks here. Now this pose is called Badangustasana in strengths in Sanskrit. Inhale, halfway lift, and then we're going to step onto our palms. Try and bring your toes towards your wrist creases. You're welcome to bend your knees. Pull your elbows away from each other. Keep pulling your weight towards your toes. This pose is called Padahastasana because your feet are your padas and your hastas are your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your palms to your hips and lift up. And palms to chest. Step your right foot back. We're going to get into triangle pose. So heel to arch alignment, arms to a T. Pull your body forward and then fold into Trikonasana, triangle pose. You can bring your right palm onto your shin, the mat, the block. Your left palm can be on your hip or pointing up. Focus on your breath. Gaze at your top fingers. And lift up, turn your feet. Inhale, pull yourself forward. Exhale, folding forward. Again, your palm can be on the block, your shin, the mat. Your left palm can be on your hip or pointing up towards the sky. Try and keep your core over your thighs here. Heel to arch alignment. And lift up, back to center. Step your right foot back. We're going to get into side angle pose. Bend your right knee. You can bring your right forearm onto your thigh. Your left arm's pointing forward. Look past your bicep. You're also welcome to bring your palm on the mat on the pinky toe side of your foot or the block. It's a side angle pose. And slowly release, turn your feet, bend your left knee. Again, you can bring your forearm onto your thigh, you can bring your palm on the mat or the block. Right arm is pointing forward, look past your bicep, keep rotating your stomach towards the sky for a little twist. Focus on your breath. Lift up, windmill your arms down, step into plank, lower down, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. And look up, step forward, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, folding forward, inhale, palms up, exhale, palms to chest. Step your feet wide, toes are slightly pointing towards each other. You can have we're going to inhale our palms up towards the sky and then exhale, folding forward, hinging from your hips. Bring your palms onto your block if you feel like you can't have a straight back here. If, however, you feel like you can have a straight back, bring your palms to the mat. You can bring your head onto the block or pull it down towards the mat. Your elbows are pointing back. Bring some weight towards your toes so you're not leaning back with your hips. Focus on your breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your palms to your hips and lift up. And then interlace your fingers behind your back. Inhale, widen your chest and exhale, folding forward. Again, hinging from the hips. Bring your body weight towards your toes so you're not leaning back with your hips. Keep 
pulling your palms away from you, opening up your chest and back. Bring your palms to your hips and lift up. We've got one more. Inhale your palms up. Exhale, folding forward. You can grab your ankles or your big toes, pull your elbows away from each other and then drive your head towards the mat. Again, keep leaning forward slightly so your hips aren't leaning back. Try and have a long back here. Focus on your breath. Inhale, halfway lift. We're going to bring our palms to the center. Inhale, lift your right arm up towards the sky and release. Inhale, lift your left arm up towards the sky for a twist and release. Bring your palms to your hips and lift up. Step towards the front of the mat. We're going to get into pyramid pose. So step your right foot back, heel to heel alignment. You can grab opposite elbow behind your back. You can bring your fists together behind your back or you can bring your palms together behind your back. And inhale, widen your chest and exhale, folding forward. Keep pulling your elbows back slightly. Try a long back here, long neck, so you're not rounding from the upper back or the neck. Gently leaning forward, pull your left hip forward, right hip back. It's called pyramid pose. And release, keep your hands as they are, turn your feet, inhale, widen your chest. Exhale, hinging from the hips, folding forward. Again, try and have a long straight back here, long neck. Keep pulling your right hip forward, left hip back. Focus on your breath. And slowly release. Step to the top of the mat. Palms to chest. Shake your hands. Inhale, palms up. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step into plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up towards the sky, step it through. Lifting up into warrior one, pull your left hip forward, right hip back. Your palms can be on your hips or pointing up towards the sky. Try and keep your shoulders relaxed. And keep your hands as they are in turn. We're going to bend from the left knee. Pull your left hip back, right hip forward. And turn your back foot, we'll get into warrior two. Try and stack your shoulders over your hips so you're not leaning forward with your core. Gaze at your front fingers. Really bend into that knee. And turn your feet, we'll do warrior two on this side. Again, try and stack your shoulders over your hips. Arms are strong. And windmill your arms down, step into plank, lower down chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale down dog. Step or jump into a seated position, we're going to bring our feet forward. Pull your toes back, inhale your palms up and exhale folding forward. You can grab your shins, your thighs, your feet, your toes. Keep driving your stomach towards your thighs rather than your face towards your knees. You're also welcome to use the yoga block or strap here, as you've seen in the previous videos. And release. Bend our right knee. Wrap your arm around your thigh into Marichyasana. Inhale, widen your chest and exhale, folding forward. You can grab your fingers, your shirt, use your yoga strap. And look up, release. I'm going to drop our knee to the side so the sole of your right foot is against your left thigh. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, folding forward. You can grab 
your foot, your thigh, your shin, wherever you can reach. And release. We'll do the other side. So gently lean forward, bring your left arm to the side and wrap it around your left knee. Try and grab your fingers or your shirt or use a yoga strap. Inhale, lift in your chest and exhale, folding forward again with a long neck. And release, drop your left knee to the side. Inhale, palms up, exhale, folding forward. And look up. Bring your feet together in front of your groin into butterfly pose. You can grab the balls of your feet and open them up like a book. You can stay here. Or if you want to, you can take a deep inhale and then exhale, folding forward. Keep pointing your elbows back. And release. We'll get onto our backs. Hug your knees into your chest. Can gently rock from side to side. Release your left leg, keep hugging your right knee into your chest and twist to the left. Try and keep your shoulders grounded. If it's okay on your neck, you can look to the right. And release. Hug your left knee into your chest and twist to the right. Release and let your feet drop open. Palms are facing towards the sky. You can close your eyes. Release your breath into our final resting position, Shavasana. Start moving your fingers and your toes. Lift your arms over your head for a full body stretch. Roll onto your right side. Let your head rest on your arm. We'll pause here for a moment. Push yourself up into a seated position. We'll bring our right palm onto our chest, left palm onto our stomach. And inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, and hold. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold. Inhale, one, two, Three, four, five, six, and hold. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, and hold. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hold. And bring your palms together in front of your chest and take a deep inhale. And exhale completely, relax your shoulders. You can bow your head, thank yourself and open your eyes. Namaste, thank you for your practice today. I hope you enjoyed the class and I'll see you tomorrow.